We All Black. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think that's what I love the most about it when I was reading the script because I actually have gotten quite a few horror scripts in the past and I'm kind of like, uh, I don't know, I kind of feel like, uh, and I'm not a big, huge horror buff. I have a, I have a few favorites, but uh, what I really loved about the script was that I think this is the first time that we're actually seeing it. I mean, we all know in horror films, normally the trend is, you know, if there's a black person in there, they probably might be one of the first ones to die. So that's a running joke that we have in the black community that we notice. But um, I, what I love the most is just seeing that everyone is black, everyone has to survive. So when you are faced with that kind of dynamic and dilemma, what happens? What do you do? And so I think this will be one of the first times that we actually see what happens. What we see a lot in films is we, especially when you see groups of black people, you see friendship dynamics. Um, and, and I think what's so interesting about this is that you see the kind of friendship and the depths of the friendship through conflict. So you, you're not introduced to how close we are and how well we get along for a very long period of time. And so I feel like that is kind of the definition of true friendship as well, is how do you weather difficult times together? So you get to see how close we all are by how we are able to deal with conflict in difficult times, not the opposite way around. I actually don't think that she's torn in her biracial identity. I think she's very aware that she is biracial, that her dad is white, that her mom is black. She loves them both very dearly. But I think that there is a, a pride that she has in her blackness and it, it has informed the way that her life's trajectory, it's informed that direction because she's now doing black studies. Um, she's very proud of her blackness with the Rosa Parks of it all and understanding her history. And I really believe that when you understand where you come from, it really informs who you are in that part of that, that identity. So you can embrace that and celebrate that and not leaving any parts of you behind. The humor in this lies in the truth of the matter for these circumstances for the, the characters in the film. And so I think the more honestly, and this has been our goal, the more honestly that we respond to these circumstances, this is where the humor lies, especially for the black community. And so I think that there are gonna be a lot of people who watch this, that they understand it. That's what they would have said. That, that might've been what they would have done. And, and I know we've all had the experience where we're, we're sitting now, we're watching, we're like, don't go in there, girl. What are you doing? Oh my God. You know, and so all of that is actually on, this, on the page. And so we do that. We, we, you know, get on each other about, you know, stupid decisions made or anything like that. And so I think, I think you're going to really watch this and really enjoy the way in which we kind of band together and respond to things similarly. So I won't tell you whether or not splitting up was a good idea or a bad idea for this film. I'll keep that a secret. But um, what I will say is that if I was in her position in that moment, I, I probably would not have suggested to split up. That is like my number one thing. Like whatever happens, and you know, there's been a time or two where we've been in the house and my husband, like we hear a noise. My husband's like, I'm gonna check it out. I'm like, I'm gonna check it out with you. You ain't gonna leave me in here? Like, absolutely not. Like I'm behind him. He's like, go back to the room. I'm like, absolutely not. Like if we gonna die, we die together. About. And I feel like that's how we are in the black community. Like, if we doing it, we doing it as a group. Because, and listen, I don't want to survive that bad. I don't want to be the one to live and be like, so and so died, and I don't want them memories. Okay, I want to be with you. We both gonna live, or we both gonna die. And that's how it is. So I probably would have not suggested to split up, but. I think that Allison is, you know, is a very smart cookie and I think it'll be interesting to see how her decision affects the group and whether or not it was a good one.